cours de cette intervention, je voudrais donc vous montrer, et surtout like vous montrer, et peut-être vous convaincre, le fait que la biodiversité doit être considérée sous la perspective fonctionnelle. Donc, il n'est pas connu, mais il évolue dans le temps et dans l'espace. Il propose des services et des bénéfices à nos sociétés, mais malheureusement, ces services écosystémiques écosystemic services are being damaged. Biodiversity is uh, defined as biological diversity or the diversity of the world of the living. But um, this diversity only has value when it is considered on the, the functional perspective, i.e. if we consider all the interactions between uh, species diversity, genetic diversity, and the diversity of the ecological systems where these species develop. Biodiversity, therefore, cannot be limited to a, a static catalog of species. It is the result of the evolution, uh, dynamic evolution of the living uh, beings. And it, biodiversity is the basis, the necessary basis for that allows our planet to function, and it ensures that our planet is perennial. Biodiversity is a recent term, it was coined in the 60s, and yet for more than three centuries now, botanists, zoologists have tried to uh, draw a list of the uh, species present on Earth, and to this day we have 1.9 million species that have been described and listed. The current pace is about 10,000 species per year being described and listed. Now, the scientific community, based on a number of extrapolations, considers that the real number of species on Earth is somewhere between 10 and uh, 10,000, 100,000 species on Earth, so five or 50 times more than what we know for now. For today. The vast majority of species on Earth are still unknown, and most of the species that are yet undescribed are microorganisms, fungi, and some invertebrates. Therefore, we know nothing about the role played by these species in the way the ecosystems function. The species described so far represent the emerged part of a huge iceberg, which represents biodiversity. Biodiversity is therefore badly assessed or only uh, partially assessed. And biodiversity evolves both in time and in space. It is not carved in stone in the environment. Evolution in space depends on a number of factors, such as latitude. One will easily understand that the number of species in equatorial areas is far greater than the number of species that can be observed in polar areas. Likewise, diversity is greater at low altitudes or average altitudes rather than uh, at the top of mountains, and therefore we can believe that climatic factors uh, and essentially temperature can account for the differences. But biodiversity also evolves depending on the depth in aquatic uh, ecosystems or even uh, in deep in the earth, and it also varies depending on the nature of the habitats that the species inhabit. There is an evolution in space, but there is also an evolution in time. We must remind that uh, if we consider geological times, a species will appear, develop, and disappear after five to 10 million years. The reason, this is the reason why about only one thousandth of the uh, species that have existed on Earth are still living today. The uh, time evolution that I'm showing now only applies uh, outside of uh, what we refer to as uh, the uh, main extinction crisis of species, crisis during which species become extinct in a relatively short period of time. Over the history of Earth, 3.5 to 3.8 billion years, five crises have happened. 
and have been described. The causes for these main crises, extinction crises, are linked with three main factors. Collisions between Earth and a number of celestial bodies, very strong volcanic activity and climatic, uh, harsh climatic changes. Five historic main crises where species have become extinct, and we are now experience crisis, experiencing crisis number six over only a few decades, and this crisis is characterized by uh, extinction rates we, which are 1,000 to one, 100 to 1,000 times greater than what that was observed over the last 65 million years, and this massive extinction crisis is essentially due to human activity and tropic activity. We know for a fact nowadays that the main erosion factors uh, for biodiversity are in order in habitat destruction due to intensive agriculture, deforestation, transportation, generalized pollution, air pollution, soil pollution ecosystems being overexploited, uh, for instance, uh, marine uh, ecosystems uh, and uh, excessive fishing, also species being destroyed by uh, poaching or hunting, climatic changes, biological invasions with uh, alloctonous species, and therefore these causes are due to human intera uh, intervention and action. So why is biodiversity so important? Because, essentially, biodiversity provides services uh, through ecosystems, ecosystemic services to our human societies. The uh, Millennium Ecosystem Assessment uh, report was produced in 2005, and it lists four types of ecosystems provided by biodiversity, self-maintenance services such as recycling of byproducts, procurement or uh, of uh, natural resources or these resources being taken from nature, regulation services, for instance, climate, and finally, cultural services, whereby biodiversity is used for leisure, for arts, for aesthetic or spiritual services. Now, the problem lies in the fact that these services are progressively being destroyed, and this is having uh, socio-economic consequences uh, over the whole planet Earth. Just a few figures to illustrate my presentation. 60% of ecosystemic services are progressively being destroyed. This loss of ecosystem services means a loss of 50 million, billion euros per year. Planet Earth loses between 2,000 and 4,000 billion dollars worth of natural capital every year. And if we look at more specific uh, fields such as uh, pollinating insects, the loss was uh, assessed at 220 billion Canadian dollars per year if uh, bees were to disappear. Finally, biodiversity losses could lead to uh, a loss of uh, GDP in 2050, 7% of the GDP if nothing is done to stop the climatic changes. In conclusion, and more basically, the take-home message is that losses in biodiversity means losses of information, information that was acquired throughout our evolution over billions of years. The loss of information deprives future generation and also animal communities and vegetal communities of a large range of uh, capacities to adapt to uh, global changes which are currently uh, affecting our planet. Therefore, we can understand easily why it is absolutely vital that we come up with a sustainable policy to improve our knowledge on biodiversity and development.